So here we are at the Caravan Campaign and Motorhome Show um, in the NEC in Birmingham and on the Bailey stand this year there is a 1960s Bailey Maestro that's been lovingly restored by uh, the Caravana Lee Davey. So we're going to go inside and uh, say hi to Lee and ask him how he's been getting on with this restoration project. Oh, Lee's, just, Lee's, just, Lee's having a game of uh, old fashioned Scrabble. No, rude word Scrabble. I'm <laughs> going to put a rude word and see if anyone spots it. So, um, this is your lovingly restored Bailey Maestro. Yes, um, it all came about. We, Charlie and I, he's, in case you don't know Charlie, he's my 10 year old son. We'd spotted a retro caravan and we thought, what, what kit is in an old caravan? What sort of value do they fetch? Um, long story short, if you're going to do research on anything, don't go on eBay like we did. Spot something, bid on it and buy it. Um, it'd been under a hedge for 10 or 20 years. A tree had come down on part of the roof and it wasn't in the best state. But um, over 18 months, well, here we are. And so what have you, have you had to start, strip it right back and um, start from the beginning? Yeah, it's, it, I mean, luckily the frame on this is no more complicated than your average garden shed. So all of the walls are just battened with hardboard over. So we stripped everything out, replaced probably 60% of the framework, a third of the floor. So we then had a sound base to, to sort of start from. Uh, luckily the aluminium bodywork was pretty good. Um, so, that, so that once the inside was done, we could put a fresh coat of paint on the outside and here we are. Fantastic. And so it's taking you 18 months? Yeah, it, the, the last few months have, have been a bit uh, uh, panicky, sure, I think that's a good way of putting it. Because um, Bailey asked if they could have it on their stand at the February show. Um, I suggested October show to give me a bit of room, but no, February it was. So um, it was all hands to the pumps. Charlie's been helping me uh, along the way. We've, we, I mean, he's learned tons of things on this. And we've also been lucky enough to fit some modern kit, such as whale underfloor heating, whale expanse hot water point um, and if we're feeling really brave then we fitted an external shower point uh, which will undoubtedly alarm lots of people on site and so what's is there any of the original features that yes remain the um i mean all, all of the bodywork is original on, yeah. on the outside um, all of the kit the only thing we've replaced is the damper on the hitch internally the gas lights are original as are the pelmets the covers for the vents. Um, now Bailey, very kindly, um, they've remade the furniture. Uh, we're running short on time, the show's about to close. They very kindly remade the furniture. I think they were panicky that I wouldn't be ready for February. Uh, but I mean, what a job they've made. The original handles have been used. And also, because it didn't have a fridge, We've got a domestic cool box in there, which is a compressor unit, so that we can use it off grid. It only uses 18 watts. Fantastic. So yeah, we're we're almost ready to go because um, between you and I, there's little bits to finish, like the wiring. Okay. But you know, when it's back. But you've got some of the um, upholstery bits being obviously made from new. Yeah, the the upholstery that was in here, where it was so damp. Um, I mean, it's so damp. I could have. Talk Charlie to swim. It seems that if you want to look after your caravan, don't keep it in a hedge for a decade or two. Um, so the upholstery wasn't in a good state. Luckily, my wife's sister does all that sort of thing, and she has made all of the seats, the curtains. Uh, what done a cracking job. See, so we've got a nice uh, retro suitcase there. Yeah, that's not, I don't know where it's come from. <laughs> it's not mine. Um, here we've got games of Jenga, we've got some old-fashioned sweets. And we've got some old-fashioned cigarette burns in the... Uh... Yeah, authentic fag burns <laughs> from the 60s. Um, we went for some Formica tops to come. Right. The Formica that was on there was absolutely eye-burning. I mean, what a 60s pattern. So we're, we're waiting for some more of that. It hasn't arrived just yet. Um, but it, it was getting there. Yeah, it's uh, done a fantastic about, job. What about the all-important toilet? Ah, is it in yet? No, it's, well, the, all it is anyway is, where that bag is, is a porta potty. <laughs> yeah. Um, I haven't done it yet, but there's another door here. So when you open this, you get another door for all of this. So uh, you've got lots of room, stretch yeah. out. 
<laughs> Lou with a view. Lou with a view, especially if you've got the front door open. Yeah. And so have you got plans to go away in the, in the caravan? Yeah, I asked Charlie where should we go for a first trip, just to bed it in, make sure everything works, and to, you know, a little short initial trip, so he said France. <laughs> um, I think he's been a bit ambitious, but when we finished it, we're going to have a, a fairly close trip to home, so that if anything does go wrong and I need to get some tools from home, I can. But I think then, yeah, I think we ought to take it abroad. I th yeah, yeah, we've got lots of plans for it. Yeah. It's not just going to be sat in a shed, it's going to be used. And then um, I understand that the caravan has a special name. It does, yeah. Well, we met the competition winners today. Um, and a good story with them. The chap had bought a vintage caravan himself, went onto YouTube, did a search for restoring a vintage caravan, stumbled across what we've done because if you haven't seen it, if you go onto youtube.com forward slash tin tent, you'll see exactly what this was like when we got it. So he stumbled across the videos, um, saw the competition we did, uh, we met them today. Lovely couple. and. He won a lot of prize in our competition, but we went through the story of, of his caravan, where he has, uh, where he is with it, as opposed to where we are at the moment. And what's the name? Gladys. I, uh, I think it suits it perfectly. It's exactly right for the era, um, and also it was, as this was made in Bristol, he named it after Gladys Ellis, who was um, uh, in Bristol, very famous for World War Two, helping people out. So yeah, cracking name. Yeah, great story. How could, I mean? It's, this lino has definitely got Gladys written all over it. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's fantastic. And uh, it's been a big hit at the show with uh, the visitors as well. I can't believe, yeah, it's, um, I can't believe the interest it's had. I mean, not only on social media, um, but this, we've had to wait till the show's almost shut, as you probably heard, before we can get near it to film. Mm. Uh, but no, great. Yeah, really good. Well, thank you for your time. No, thank you. And uh, congratulations on a great project. I'm glad it's nearly done. <laughs> thank you.